All right, the push-up assessment. This is a multi-factored uh, assessment looking at the core stability or the entire body stability, including the head, and then specifically looking at what the scapula is doing and how stable the shoulders are in, in position. So Cassie's going to come down in position, and we're going to look from a lateral view first and, and looking at more of the body as a whole. So from a progressional standpoint, I always start people on their knees, obviously. And I give the command, I have the elbows tight to the body, hands are right in line with the, the shoulders or the armpits, abdominals are tight, the gluteals are tight, squeezing the thighs together. Head is in a good, proper position, okay? So again, get back to that nice, neutral head position. Go ahead and push up, Cassie. Very good. She's in line, ear, shoulder, hip, knee. What we're always going to look for is whether the hip rides high, okay? Or if she sinks down and of course creating some stress in the back. We want to be right nice and neutral. The other thing that we're going to look for is the head position. So we want to make sure that the head doesn't sink down, that it stays up in this position here. So Cassie, go ahead and give me a few of those. Good, good. Moving as a unit, good. Pivoting nicely. Very nice job, Cassie. I'm going to have you come down to the rest position. All right, now let's go right to your toes. So obviously this is a progression, more advanced push-up. Still, the same thing, you're going to set the shoulders back, elbows are tight, hands are in the proper position, head is in the proper position, abdominals, glutes, thighs all squeezed together, and come up into the push-up. Very good. Nice in alignment, no, no hips up in the air and no sag, and come on down, and push, good, good proper neck position. So that's what a push up should do, have them start out on the, on the ground, and then push up, because we've all seen it before, if we start from this position, what's going to happen is Cassie's going to give me a half push up, there you go, and come on up, and then all of a sudden that's the range of motion, so I have to go all the way down, and then all the way up. Even if there's a rest, that pause at the beginning. So it's a nice progression to teach somebody a push-up. And you can relax. Very nice job. So now we're going to uh, change over uh, to look at the superior view of the back and the shoulder blades.